let's look at some more this character means yen salt and this is xian salty so yao shi ni fang yen if you put salt into something it becomes more xian salty then you might guess what this is if i tell you what salt means in chinese yen and salty xian the most logical thing to do is to talk about sugar tang and sweet tian uh, you might hear it if uh, a chef or somebody who likes making food uh, tries to convince you that uh, his food is very sweet and tasty. He or she might say, ah, tian tian de. Tian tian de means, oh, it's so sweet, sweet, tian tian de, tian tian de. Again, you can use this, this de word that we have already discussed, de, tian tian de. This is jiao, this is pepper, and this is a very important uh, word. It means la, sh uh, spicy. Oftentimes, um, if something is sweet and at the same time spicy, you might hear the uh, person advertising this kind of food say, ah, uh, tian tian de, la la de, hao chi ji le. Again, maybe I'll write this down uh, later, but right now uh, I'll just say it again. Uh, he might say, uh, ta uh, kui shuo tian tian de la la de hao chi ji le. Tian tian de la la de hao chi ji le. Oh, so sweet and so spicy. Ah, it's incredibly, it's hao chi ji le. It's extremely tasty and you should buy my stuff or you should try uh, taste the, the food I've prepared. Um, this is a very famous Chinese, a very, very good and important example of uh, the Chinese uh, eating culture. This thing is called Beijing Kaoya. And if you've uh, maybe studied a little bit of Chinese, you might recognize this. This is Bei, this means north. And Jiang, Jiang is like a very certain word for certain situations where you talk about a city or a capital. Beijing means the northern capital and uh, Beijing, of course, is what the English-speaking speaking people say uh, when they talk about Beijing, um, China's capital. And Kaoya, uh, here, if you look at this part right here, it's a bird, it's, it's a radical, that means bird. And uh, you can see, uh, of course, that this, if you know that this is a bird radical, then it it's quite uh, likely to have something to do with bird. And this, in this case, this ya is is ya to the ya. It means um, duck. And cow basically means um, means uh, fried or cooked or uh, crispy fried something. And this means Beijing cow ya. It's uh, Beijing duck. Uh, the German people say Peking ant. So it's a very famous and culturally very. Uh, well known and uh, really everybody knows knows this kind of dish Beijing Kao Ya. This is some um, very very tasty um, dish. Uh, what if you if you only visit China once in your life, then you should make sure that you uh, try go to a good restaurant and try some Gong Bao Ji Jiang. Uh, Gong Bao is the name the name of some uh, ancient legendary uh, minister in some um, in some uh, medieval i think chinese court and um, ji diang um, this uh, ji i know basically again you can see the bird compare this character ya and this character um, you see that both of them have these bird this bird radical of course, you can't really see it if you don't know it, but with some imagination and of course with with uh, maybe looking at some tables of Chinese uh, radicals, you might recognize this is a bird and this again is a bird. But here it's not a duck anymore. Here it's a chicken. Ji. So well, at first we have the duck, Beijing Kaoya, the famous duck um, dish, 
And here we have the very famous, uh, maybe not as famous as Beijing Kaoya, but Gongbao Jijiang is also very famous. And I think, in my opinion, it's it's even tastier. But I'm but I'm not not a chef. Anyway, uh, Gongbao Jijiang extremely tasty if it's well done, and it's definitely worth trying out if you have never ever tasted it before. So some more words. A uh, very important dish, mian qiao. Mian qiao is basically just uh, noodles. If you go to China and you say mian qiao, then 100%, maybe you might be asked, ah, shen me mian qiao, and you have to uh, ex explain something with your hands or with pointing at pictures. But if you say mian qiao, then any Chinese, any adult Chinese person or any uh, the the usual Chinese, the usual kind of uh, Chefs or waiters uh, you will encounter in China will understand what this is. This is noodles. Baozi, it's uh, it's also very famous. Basically, it's some 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 balls of um, yeah some uh, some. This is meat wrapped in um, in basically some some very thin form of bread. And with lots of oil and lots of fat, so this is a very uh, down to earth. Uh, it's not not yeah, it's it's not really uh, a very lux luxurious food. But uh, if you have if you're traveling through China on a budget and want to try out some very typical Chinese cuisine, then and you're not afraid of a lot of oil, then you can uh, try getting some baozi. This one's also very important. Again, you see here the fun, the food. And in this case, it is mi fun. It is basically cooked rice or fried rice or however you want to call it. Mi fun, also basic food stuff. Any waiter will recognize this. This is uh, tang mian. Again, here you uh, will see the mian, the noodles again. But in this case, uh, this is tang. So whenever you see this, this basically means soup. Tang mian means noodle soup. So you get, if you order this, you are very likely to get some uh, liquid with some spices and maybe a little bit of meat, but noodles in it. So if you're unsure of what to order, this is this should be a safe bet. Then this is something um, I'm 100% sure how if this is that important for eating in China, but but uh, these are um, this is dan gao, and this is basically basically cake. There are many different things in China, uh, in the Chinese um, cuisine that we might cover later. That that are that basically looks like like it's cake, but it has different names like moon cake and any other yuebian and other things. But uh, dan gao is what what a Chinese person would say to cake if you have something that's typically a cake maybe with chocolate and everything then it's a dan gao and i really like cake myself and i think uh, it's it's a cool word so if you know this then you can act smart and uh, when somebody asks you can say oh the dan gao is a lie and everybody will think what the hell and not understand anything but it's the fun of learning chinese right uh, being able to uh, tell about stuff that nobody else understands except for a few billion people who live uh, in China, obviously. Or like more than a billion people, but let's not get into statistics here. This is not the time and the place, maybe later. Um, this, is, um, this is a saying, and uh, it reads, Min yi shi wei qian. Some very, very important words. So if you have any... Uh, aspiration and any uh, plans to study Chinese at all, then you should learn this one, Min and Tian, of course. Tian is basically one of the most important Chinese characters of them all. Tian means a heaven or a sky or a day even. So when the Chinese people say uh, today, they say Jin Tian. So basically this heaven or this yeah day because Tian is not only heaven and 
and all kinds of spiritual implications, of course, but it's a day and Tian, it's very easy to write. Uh, I might later give a little writing tutorial, but as you can see, my handwriting itself is not that good. All the Chinese people uh, often criticize me, but what they do, do they know? I think it's very pretty the way I write it. It's Tian, Tian, very important word. And um, before I forget it, Min Yi Shi Wei Tian, the uh, meaning is food is the heaven uh, of the people. So this Min, uh, it's basically stands for a population like uh, Ren Min. Ren Min means the um, population. Uh, maybe you have heard of Ren Min Zhibao. Ren Min Zhibao. It means uh, the people's newspaper, Ren Min Zhibao. And this is Ren Min, the Min. And it's for population. And um, Min Yi Shi. So Shi has something to do with food always. And way, um, I think in this case it's grammatical. Um, uh, that there's a connection between this food and this, that there's a causal relationship between the food and the heaven. So, Min Yi Shi Wei Tian. Min Yi Shi Wei Tian. Min Yi Shi Wei Tian. Food is the heaven of a people, of the people, or it basically means for the population. Uh, or for the common people, or for whatever you want to call this, min, um, for the population, food is the is the grand, the very most important thing, and I think there's some truth to it. I think many people in any country you visit will uh, value food very highly. So uh, to conclude this episode, here are some. Here are three uh, important words for the topic of food. Zaufan, Ufan, Wanfan. Zau means uh, morning, morning food, breakfast, breakfast, easily. Zaufan, if you know that Zau means, um, means early and you remember that Fan has something to do with food or is basically the most common expression used for food or rice. Zao fan, the morning rice, it's your breakfast. Wu fan, it's lunch. And wan fan is your dinner. So basically food for the evening, food for um, the middle of the day, and food for the evening. Wan fan, this is also um, uh, Zhao and Wan is also very useful and interesting if you remember that Zhao means early. Um, we have already uh, discussed Ni Hao for hello. You can say if you meet somebody in the early hours of the day, you can say Ni Zhao, good morning or um, hello to you at this morning. Uh, Ni Zhao. And if you say, um, uh, as far as I know, you don't say uh, Ni Wan, but uh, you can say, um, when somebody uh, tells you uh, they are going to uh, bed, or somebody tells, "Oh, I'll go to bed. I'm very, um, I'm very tired. I'll uh, get some sleep," and you can say, "One an, one an." This means good night. Um, have some, have 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 a good good night's sleep or something. One an, 